Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you quickly about a mid-side EQ rack that I've created. It's a simple rack with a couple of utilities and one EQ8. Now this rack you can add to your individual channels or tracks or you can add it to your master bus depending on what it is you want to do. So first of all, let's grab a couple of utilities from over in Audio Effects Utility. In the drop down, you will see there's one called Mid Only. So we'll drag that onto our track and sides only. We'll drag that one on next to it. Now we need an EQ8. Okay, now you can group those if you like by selecting them all, right click and group. Now let's turn both mid and sides off. Now over here in mode, in the EQ8, we want to drop stereo and choose MS for mid side. Okay, so let's have a quick listen to this uh, loop. Okay, so maybe I want to make my mid, my mono, a little bit more prominent. So I'll turn that on. And over here you'll see that we have M for mid. And if I play it, you'll see it running through the EQ. So let's adjust that kick slightly to give it a bit more punch. Take out the low end and just give it a little boost. Now I will just adjust these uh, to the extreme just so you can hear it, but obviously you would um, you'd be a little bit more subtle in your changes. Okay, now if we turn the mid off and we turn the sides on, you'll hear the sides, the stereo, the left and the right, but not the uh, not the middle. Now as I play the sides, you'll also see it's not running through the EQ. And that's because we need to go over here and change M by clicking on it to S. And now if we play it, you'll see our sides or our stereo. Now I'm just going to cut out the low frequencies and just give the sides a bit of a boost. Okay, and there you have it. So that's a quick way to adjust your mids or your mono section and your sides independently from each other. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll talk again soon.